I'm Deborah Daly. I work at the British Geological Survey and I'm a cartographer. Um, my role over the years has changed tremendously from um, traditional methods to more geospatial information systems. The Geological Survey of Great Britain was founded in 1835 um, by the government and its purpose was to map the geology of Great Britain. And the geologists were employed and they went out into the field to map the areas and the areas that they mapped was done in summer and then they came back into the office in the winter months and they clean copied what they'd worked on from their field slips onto a clean copied copy. And this took quite a lot of their time up. So then in 1901, it was decided that the survey would employ draftsmen or cartographers as they are known today. And that was the first time cartographers was introduced to the Geological Survey of Great Britain. This is the William Smith map behind me. It was produced by William Smith in 1815. It's the first geological map of England, Wales and the lower parts of Scotland. And um, it's quite innovative in its time. It was made for the agricultural and coal mining industry to help them locate minerals and resources. And it was made into 15 components this is a reproduction of those 15 components that we've digitally enhanced and stitched together. And um, you can, as you can see, it's very pleasing on the eye and it relates to quite a lot of the geology as it is today. The line work was hand engraved using special hand engraved tools onto copper plates and it was coloured with 23 colours to represent the strata and the um, base of the strata was darker coloured and then it shaded towards the young inside so it gives it a really nice effect. So in these cabinets here we've got quite a lot of the artefacts from the early 1900s where the geologists used to go into the field and map and clean draw the maps himself and um, this is one of the standard issue um, field wallets he'd be given to take into the field in here we've got an example of a field slip. So on the back is the location, six figure field reference. And here we can see where he's penciled and done some very fine lettering. In here, he would put all of his notes. This is a field notebook. And this is a really old one and you can see tiny little bits of references to all the notes. Each note would be numbered and all of these numbers would usually be put on the back of the field slip to denote what site it was. So you get a reference, six figure reference number to the site locations. And any little bits of information that he could take from the location he would put onto these notebooks and they were just a, a wealth of information for when he got back into the office. In the early days when I started at the then it was called the Institute of Geological Sciences um, we used to produce the maps that were made for printing our published series maps onto a scribe coat which we have here. So if you can see the image from the field slips or the clean copied manuscript copies were photographed onto this coating which took a photographic image and then we was able to with sapphire tools and the ruling sapphire tools we used to be able to look down and scribe along the lines very very carefully any mistakes that we made had to be rectified. We had to resurface this film. And all the lines, depending on what we were showing, had to have a ink, black ink peg. Because in effect, we was making a negative for the printing plates. We would have the topographic base, and then any lettering would then be placed down 
with registering everything with locating pins for the printing drums and all the lettering had to be hand placed by hand. This was photographed onto film. These are all to a specific specification for British Geological Survey and each one was cut out and lifted up very carefully. This was very, very thin film and it took quite a lot of patience to flick them up and place them on. So here we have a borehole symbol and then we would place it on the map and we would get our burnisher and rub it gently onto the map where it was to be shown. We had to, because the film had a wax coating, you had to burnish it carefully so as not to stretch the symbol, but just enough to apply an even pressure and get rid of the, as much wax as possible because the photographic techniques were able to burn away the matte wax surface around the symbol. So you had to be careful when burnishing to those symbols. All the lettering was hand applied and we used to have um, a typesetting machine which we used to type the uh, text onto. It was then put onto a film such as this and each one was clipped out and applied onto the map. So here you see the generalised vertical section with all the names of the formations and all the information needed for the map.